Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to find the value of x from the given equation that is x power 4 is equal to 4. So let's drive into the question and find the solution of this question. Before I start our solution part, I would like to request you, please do like, share and subscribe. So here we have the given equation that is x power 4. We can move this 4 on the left hand side. So it is negative 4 is equal to 0. So here x power 4 we can write this one as x power 2 to the whole power 2 and similarly 4 as it is the square number so we can write this one as 2 power 2 according to power rule if we have a power x to the whole power y we can multiply these two exponent that is a power x times y so here same thing we can do 4 is the multiple of 2 times 2 so we can write 2 times 2 2 to the whole power 2 that is in the same format of a power x to the whole power y okay and t is equal to 0 so if you look at this left hand side clearly then our left hand side is in the form of a square minus b square which has the formula a minus b times a plus b here our a is x square that is under bracket form and our b is this base that is 2 isn't it so here we can go and put the value of a and b that is x power 2 minus 2 and x power 2 plus 2 is equals to 0 okay so here we have two terms either x power 2 minus 2 is equals to 0 or x power 2 plus 2 is equals to 0. From here we can get x square is equals to 2 and if I move this square on the right hand side then it is x is equals to plus minus x square of 2. Similarly here if I move this x square on the right hand side then it is negative 2 and if I move this square on the right hand side then it is a square root of plus minus square root of negative 2. As you know that negative 2 it is the multiple of square root of negative 1 times square root of 2 and negative 1 it is called iota and this is our square root of 2. So negative square root of negative 2 we can write this one as iota times square root of 2. So from here we can get two values of x and from here we can get two values of x. This is our real solution and this is our complex solution which is the final answer of this question. Hope you understand this question clearly. If you have any doubts then please let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.